our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is seven years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Asan. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imamov. All right, this is the UFC championship. If you win the games at all times, protect yourself at all times. And the next thing is safe fight. Touch gloves, back to corners, my friend. Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now on the way. It clashes styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, nice land there by Nemago. He made his UFC debut in 2012. He wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Ooh, big shot lands. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Good straight hand there by Nurmago Metal. Single collar tie now. Back and forth we go here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Superman punch now. Punch is blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target. So. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, straight right. Gets the single collar tie. That knee might have landed there. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good.
20 seconds to go in round one. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Takedown attempt without issue. Just out of range with that strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Checks the leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. There you go. There you go. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. This might just be a matter of time. There it is. So he taps out oh, due oh, to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling. Here. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! So he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the target is on his back. Every challenger is the very best in the world. He turns him back.